So, what do pumpkins, watermelons, pineapple, and eggplant have to do with the G2 Research Talos round? Absolutely nothing. We're going to see what this does to these right now. Let's go. I just shot my chain. What's up everybody? Welcome back to She Ride Live. My name is Joe. Today is going to be a really cool video. I'm really excited because we're going to blow some stuff up. Today we are looking at the G2 Research Telos 45 ACP Controlled Fragmentation Round. That is what it looks like. The Talos round is a solid copper self-defense round. And as you saw from the close-up, the inside is channeled. And what that does is causes fragmentation when it enters its target. This is a picture of what it does in ballistics gel. As you can see, your core penetrates and then your fragments do the rest of the job. So what we got about five yards away, we're gonna be setting up some fruit. And what we're gonna do to test them out just to see the difference between what a full metal jacket round nose will do and what the Talos will do. And in order to facilitate this, we're gonna be using the Rock Island Armory BBR 3.10. I wanted to use something that would be closer to a self-defense handgun instead of say like a five or six inch barrel to actually get a more realistic outcome of what might happen if you're using this in a self-defense situation. We'll do one shot with the full metal jacket through the pumpkin and we'll go ahead and set another pumpkin up and hit it with the Talos and see the difference with those. I've got my SSP eyewear safety glasses you guys should check SSP Eyewear out. They have some really great stuff. I'm going to be doing a full review on these coming soon. They're absolutely great for shooting, and they got a bunch of different stuff. All right, so here's the pumpkin. This is your entry rune, wound. This is your entry wound right here. That's your exit wound with the full metal jacket. Straight through. Didn't really do much. You know what? I'm just going to use the same pumpkin. I'm going to pop a telos round through it and see if we can get a better outcome. All right, here we go. One telos round. Pumpkin time. Pumpkins are stout. It didn't even move. I did see a lot come out from the back though. So let's check out the exit wound and see what happened. Okay, so here's the entry wound on the pumpkin for the Talos. That's the exit wound. It's definitely better. All right, so I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna set it up so that this is the face of the target and we're just gonna run an entire magazine through this and see what the carnage is on the other side when we're done. All right, I got a full mag of the Talos, so we're just gonna run all of these right through the pumpkin. Okay, so this was not the ammunition. I was riding the slide lock. That was my fault. With this gun, I tend to do that. I'm not exactly sure why. I've repositioned my, my hold a few times, but for some reason, I think with this thumb, I accidentally ride the slide lock. But that was not ammo related. That was definitely Joe related. There we go. That was the last round. All right, let's go check it out.
this is the entries. I did shoot a little bit low a couple of times, but this was the majority of them. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Tore it up. How's that? That's cool, man. These are rippers. Definite rippers. Obviously, these are going to be good for self-defense. They're absolutely going to do their job when they enter their target. We have the eggplant. I've never shot an eggplant. I've never eaten an eggplant. I don't, they just look disgusting. Uh, but I noticed when I was at the store, it was really soft. So I'm hoping that it will just... <laughs> so let's see. One round, Talos. That was absolutely not as exciting as I thought it was going to be. So that's kind of interesting. So that's the entry wound on the eggplant. That's the exit wound. I still got a lot of area. Let's shoot it again. All right, one last time with the eggplant. Here we go. Talos. All right, pineapples up. One round of the Talos. This should be fun. Oh. <laughs> Just shredded. But you know what? We're not done. Oh, man. That smells so good. I would eat it, but it's totally covered in dirt. I've got one round of full metal jacket. We're just going to go ahead and pop that through here. Then we'll set up another one and hit the tailless round. All right, so that wasn't bad. That was a full metal jacket round. Let's set up another watermelon and take a look and see what the Telos does to it. All right, one round of the Telos. Let's shred this melon. <laughs> that was massive. <laughs> Damn. All right, so that was awesome. You could see with the melons that the full metal jacket definitely did damage. The Talos round just absolutely decimated the melon. Now, if you are gonna check out the GT Research Talos for self-defense, make sure that you purchase enough so that you can practice with it. Make sure it runs reliably through your handgun, and that way you know that you're all good. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell, and like this video and share it everywhere if you want to. Go to shootrightlib.com. There will be a link to the Tale of Ammunition there. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. My name is Joe of Shoot Right Live. I'm out.